today I'm going to look inside another burnt out LED light bulb. This one, unlike all the other ones I've looked in, is a 8.2 watt 800 lumens one, which is designed to replicate a 60 watts incandescent light bulb. Once again, this one was used in an outside light fixture, and I'll show you what happens when I turn it on. As you can see, it lights up dimly and flickers, but it flickers with a regular interval unlike all the other ones. So, I'll take a look inside of this one. Now I'll try and break apart the light bulb as I did with the other ones. Okay. And this has a circuit board filled with a lot of LEDs, and I can immediately see what the problem is. This LED has a black spot on it, indicating that it has failed. This bulb is clearly designed to last because it has many more LEDs than the other one, and actually has a metal heatsink, as you can see here. But I'll try and power it on. This is stupid. Don't do this. So when I turn this on, you can see that this LED doesn't light up. And also, as you can see, each LED is not made up of three tiny LEDs like the last one. These appear to be single chip LEDs. I'll measure the voltage of one of them just to confirm. Yep, these truly are single chip LEDs. You can see 2.4 volts across this one. So despite the construction being similar in the way that it has a top PCB for LEDs and another one beneath for power, I'm still going to take this one apart. Yep, it clearly has the metal heat sink. And the plastic has snapped. Let's try this. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, this is much better built. Oh. So this heatsink is massive in comparison to the other ones. I will cut the wires. And unfortunately, the LED driver is in resin. So I can't see what's inside of it. Maybe if I remove this base, I can see. I'll try cutting apart the base. This insulator piece is actually made of glass this time, not plastic, surprisingly. I don't want to get broken glass everywhere, so I've got to be sort of careful. Okay, so now I can see an electrolytic capacitor. Try and remove all the plastic to see what's under it. So there's another way to access the board. <laughs> Whoa! Well, this is the electronic circuit, all in epoxy. I can destroy more of the plastic to expose the circuit. See some of the transformer or whatever that is. Another one of the capacitors. Thankfully, this epoxy can be removed easily. Inside the LED bulb, there was this LED driver, which was encased in epoxy resin, sort of, and I removed most of it. It contains this inductor, a bunch of capacitors, smaller inductor, and on the back contains bridge rectifier, an LED controller IC, and two diodes. The controller IC is an MT7832, which is a non-isolated active power factor correction LED driver. 
and it is used in an E27 LED lamp as this application. The datasheet also includes a sample application circuit, which some variation of it is likely used in the bulb. Power supply circuit is a step-down switching voltage converter using the inductor to help with voltage conversion. In conclusion, this LED bulb is higher quality than the other ones I previously looked at. Its large metal heatsink helped it last a long time throughout the varying fixtures it was used in, so make sure to subscribe for more videos.